come on. Yohan, today we're out in the New Page Mill in Rumford. I'm with Renee Chartier, who is the storeroom manager here at the New Page Mill. Mm -hmm. Renee, how long have you been at the mill here? 11 years. And have, what capacities have you held? Oh, uh, mostly in purchasing stores, uh, storeroom related. Uh, and what's positions. your background in the in the paper industry? Well, uh, I worked I worked at a mill in Alabama for about five years. Uh, I transferred up to the Berlin Mill uh, in New Hampshire. I worked there for five years, and I've been here for approximately eleven years. So all in the paper industry. Okay, and. These, in the recent times, you've seen the downturn of the economy and how it's affected with the mill with the uh, market-related downtimes. The employees that, are, that have been impacted by this, have you seen what's happened to them and their families? Oh, yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's quite difficult for them. You know, I, I almost think at times you don't, you don't even have to lay off. If you announce that there's going to be a layoff, people get nervous, you know, they clam up per se they have to watch their spending so uh, you don't even have to get there you just have to start talking about it and it makes people nervous and then uh, so when you see when when an announcement like that comes it probably not only hurts it, it, it not affects the people at the mill it also affects the places where the mill workers would spend their money oh absolutely it, it has deep roots um, I've heard varying uh, accounts, you know, of it, it affects three to four people, five to six people beyond just that one individual job. So you're talking a pretty big ripple effect from a economic downturn. And Absolutely. And what do you think the people would do in this area, yourself included, if something was to happen to this mill that they shut this mill down? It would be a huge disruption. You know, th this mill is, is the main employer, of course, in the area. And, uh, you know, I would think I would have to move. Uh, I'm not sure where. Don't really want to. But, uh, and, you know, a lot of people have families here. Um, so it would be uh, quite a, a drastic effect on their lives and, and the lives of many others that uh, supply this facility. Like, who do you mean that supply the facility? Oh, uh, bloggers, um, people that own businesses in town, um, people uh, or businesses even out of town. You know, a lot of our folks, I, I take my kids to a hockey game in Lewiston. We stop by Home Depot while we're there. We might get something to eat while we're there. So it's not just the immediate area. It extends, at least in, in my eyes, beyond that immediate area. It affects the uh, the railroad. It affects truckers. It there's quite a wide effect when a situation like that occurs. What do you think has to has to happen to make this different for us? Well, I, I think that um, the, the government has a chance now uh, versus waiting for something to close and trying to deal with it after. Uh, I think there's a chance now to deal with it up front. And, uh, you know, our our former president, uh, and we had a conversation earlier about it, I firmly believe that um, if, if you can address it now uh, before it actually occurs, that's the right way to do it. We can compete with anybody in the world as long as there's a level playing field, and I, and I really, truly believe that. We've got a great workforce here. We've got a good management team. It's a good company, good equipment, and, and if we have a level playing field, um, we can go head to head, and and I don't think there's a level playing field right now. And do you think people understand that if something was to happen to this mill, what it would do to the tax base in the area, the services that are provided, the the school administration? Do you see that as being a, a devastating event? Oh, extremely devastating. And and I think the people that are here, a lot of them understand that. Um, that's why we're talking right now, but. Uh, people from outside the area sometimes don't understand that, you know, and, and it, uh, it has a drastic effect at the state level, and it has a drastic effect, I think, at the federal government level, even though uh, if you look at it from a macro basis, maybe it's, it's not huge, but it's manufacturing, uh, I think, is the key to an economy, and you have to make things to be successful and to have a stable, strong economy. Uh, so if you're not making something, 
Um, I, I just don't think you can rely on all services. Well, Renee, I really appreciate your time that you took with us today. And, you know, I just hope we can all work together on this issue and, and make some changes. I hope so, too. Okay, thank you very much. You got my support.